President Uhuru Kenyatta is a man all out to revenge against his deputy William Ruto, and it seems he will be using all available tools to achieve his mission. At stake in the revenge plot is the vote-rich Mount Kenya, which the head of state feels Ruto is trying to snatch away from him by scheming to topple him in the region where he is perceived as kingpin. The meeting held at State House, attended by 3,000 elders on Saturday, will be the first onslaught in the mission to dilute the influence of Ruto in the central region. President Kenyatta has been faulted for leaving the region exposed and allowing his deputy to trespass freely with the effect being the radicalization of the year against the dynasties. Kenyatta is expected to set aside government responsibility and go all out to campaign for his preferred successor Rayla Odinga. Also in few weeks, President Uhuru Kenyatta will arrange a meeting with women leaders in all Mount Kenya region as a tactic to ensure that the region is solely behind him. With the majority of votes in the country being the women electorates, the meeting is set to ensure that no group is left behind in the mission to catapult Odinga's presidential candidature. The Jubilee Party leader also bashed William Ruto and his own allies for engaging in hatred politics and going extra mile to insult his own mother, Gina Kenyatta in the name of politics. In the elders' meeting, Kenyatta painted Ruto as bad leader not only for the region region but the whole nation. And it was opportune time for the community to know which communities they will unite with them. According to recent research, William Ruto is the most popular politician in the whole Mount Kenya region. He leads by 57% followed by Rayla Odinga's 28%. It will be very hard to erase the love Ruta Ruto enjoys in the region. Thanks for watching. Kindly subscribe to this.